Hey everyone, welcome to Live in the D in the Green Room, and I'm still hanging out with Meredith Breckner, the community producer for All About Ann Arbor.com. So if there's anything cool happening in A Squared, she's the one who lets us know. Yes. And we had a really fun show today. It was really fun, wasn't it? Yes. You're such a good, you're such a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Likewise, I love being with you. Same here, same here. So tell me about Rebecca's. Yeah, so Rebecca's is a place in Northville, um, and they focus on Michigan made. They only sell Michigan made items. Um, um, so it can be, you know, anywhere from clothing and winter hats to skincare um, to candles to the Cherry Republic classics. So <laughs> everyone loves Cherry Republic. So, um, you know, you can really uh, find everything there, and I would recommend checking it out. All right, well, so look. From Detroit to the Great Lakes, there's so much to celebrate here in the Mitten State, and why not show that off in your Michigan pride in the holiday season? There's a small shop in Northville that spends the entire year highlighting Michigan goods, and I'm joined by Dee DeGrand, a salesperson from Rebecca's Michigan store. Tell us about the store and how you support Michigan businesses. Okay. Well, um, Rebecca's Michigan store is in downtown, historic downtown Northville, by Love the way, Northville. and right next to um, Rebecca's restaurant. Mm. which is on Center Street. And uh, we love to support local businesses. All of our foods are made in Michigan, whether it be Weeby Jammin' mm. from Bear Lake. I love the, the name. It, it is. <laughs> Weeby Jammin'. It, 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 they, have a, they have a great product. We also have um, candies, like um, Hanover's candies, mm. and they're from uh, St. John, Michigan. Nice. And then we support local businesses like Green Daffodil, there's a team of two ladies, they're, they're as sweet as can be. They make um, soy products. It, each day they make them handmade. These are amazing. Do you mind if I pick one up? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There's oh, candles, 100% wow. soy. Headache helper. Headache These are helper. Fun. Yes, we all need <laughs> headache helpers. <laughs> and then right. we have um, books. All of our books are by Michigan authors. I love that. Yeah, it's really wonderful. And then, of course, everybody knows Cherry Republic. Of course, okay. Cherry Republic. Yes. Cherry Republic doesn't need any any introduction. So why is it important for Rebecca's to showcase Michigan items? Well, the store has been around since 1996, I believe, or at 98, and um, and it's always had Michigan products. It's just a way to get people to um, be able to remember things that they had before, okay. memories of Michigan, whether it's Petoskey stones and and candies or cherries obviously everything's all about cherries yes um, and it's a good way for people to to take that back with them wherever they're at or even where they live still in the area and since we are you know on the holiday set we're looking toward the holidays what's a good michigan themed gift uh, that you could give to someone this season okay so in general it's always that's a question people ask when they come in too because you can build your own basket mm -hmm. or we can help put one together some are already pre-made um, for people, if they don't know what to do at all, we're always willing to help. So we, normally I always tell people a variety. Get something like maybe that they might enjoy for food. Candy is right. always big. <laughs> we have wonderful syrups from Paw Paw, Michigan. Um, and then anything else that, that might be more of like, I don't want to say a souvenir, it's more Michigan themed like a cutting board or yeah, a tea oh, towel, okay. um, things like that. Lots of options. And you know, picking out the perfect gift, it's really tough. Yes. So what have you done to make it easier for people? Well, we do have pre-made baskets, which also helps give, give them an idea of what they might look like. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're knowledgeable about the products. So if they have a question, they're more, we will answer it probably more so than, <laughs> than maybe they might want the whole thing. But um, yeah, it's just a way of helping by having them displayed. Since our store is not the largest store, it's compact, it helps because we can merchandise things right in a basket already. Oh yeah, yeah, and you really, so I'm helps. sure your space is jam-packed. It is. <laughs> with we all have, of these amazing yeah, items. We have a lot, a lot of things, absolutely. I love it. Well, uh, let us know, uh, remind us where it's located again. Yes, it's on Center Street, 136 Center Street, right next to Rebecca's restaurant. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a really great little store. It, it truly is. Um, we try to make everything comfortable and easy as, as far as visually. And uh, yeah, we, we really, it, it's unique. It's yeah. unique, just like 
Michiganders are. That's right. And a beautiful reflection of our state in your yeah, shop. Absolutely. <laughs> well, absolutely. thank you so much, Dee, for being here this thank morning. Thank you so much, too. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, moving on to holidays, staying with holidays, uh, finalized plans for Christmas, too soon or too late. Thank you all for being with us, and we're sharing a great gift idea for the kids in your life. All right, so Rebecca's is exactly my kind of place. I love shopping local, and you get to unique things for all of the people on your list, which I love, 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 love. That's right. Now, what's the buzz today was a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty surprised by some of their responses. It was fun to watch. It was a lot of fun. So, are, is it too soon or too late for certain things that we all have to get done through the holidays? And people had opinions. All right, everyone, we've got 20 days left until Christmas morning, so the countdown for our families' gatherings to open gifts and have a good time and enjoy each other is officially on. And today for What's the Buzz, we are talking about is it too early, too soon, too late? How are we doing with this? Now, joining us to talk about all of this is Lauren Crocker, co-host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD, Jason Hall with Ride Detroit, and author and motivational speaker Mimi Brown is in the building. Hey, good morning to all of you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I cannot believe how close Christmas is, um, but this is how we're going to go about all of this. I'm sure you guys are bugging out just like I am. Yes, so much to do. He's not. I don't know. Jason Hall is the like the coolest. They, and they never are. Just waiting for the presents. I know, right? right? <laughs> so we, we've got and the last man Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> You have your paddles, and we want to know if you think it's too soon or too late when it comes to these topics. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, I feel like i got to stretch out for this. All right. We're ready. All right, first, putting up your Christmas tree. Should it be up by now, or is it too soon? Or is it too soon for live trees? So I understand how people feel about live trees, but I'll tell you what I've been doing. Is it too soon? You're too late if it's not up yet. That's what I agree with all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a confession. I started putting up decorations like two weeks before Thanksgiving. Yes. Why not? Wow. Yes, I did. Because the truth is, I couldn't find any holiday decorations, meaning like fall, sorry. Okay. Couldn't find any fall decorations. So I was like, YOLO, let's get into Christmas. Mm -hmm. Two weeks. Two weeks. It's Two the weeks. Holiday it's season. the holidays. Uh, All right. That stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> right. But do get in phases and phases. All right, so let's talk about mailing Christmas cards. Oof. Is it too soon or are you too late at this point? Get them boys out. I I'm know, right? We're going to do the happy 2023 cards because we I feel like we've already missed our window for the holidays. Okay. So we're going to okay. be those people this year. So right. look out. Mine okay. are going to be happy it. Valentine's Day. <laughs> she said happy Valentine's Day. Not happy Valentine's Day. Mimi Brown is so funny. That is so funny. But, okay, here's the thing. I have a confession. I also want Christmas cards with your kids on it. You do I don't want like don't. a snowflake. I do. Oh, you do. Oh, you I don't do. want to see a snowflake. I want to yeah. see the little bambino and something cute, looking okay. cute. So do you keep them? Because it's a photo. Yep. You there you go. You want the matching yes. pajama? Yes, sir. Photo. Do you want the adults? <laughs> Not necessarily. Just oh, the kids. Okay. <laughs> kids <laughs> leave mom and dad out. Wow. I'm terrible, oh. right? I'm terrible. Okay, so putting up lights on your house. Are you too late or is it too soon? Ooh, I'm gonna. I yeah. I'm very late. I haven't even I, started my. What, my on a special on order. My you're, on, you're really special order. Yeah, I saw the these lights? lights and I was like, I gotta have these. They're these all year round. But, oh, don't oh, even get it, me into it. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> so I'm late, but only because they were. Yeah. But when they get here, they're gonna be next level. <laughs> That's what I'm talking Clark about. Clark Griswold. I love it. <laughs> 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 all right. So what about watching Christmas movies or shows? Is it too soon or are you too late? Come on. I've been watching Hallmark yeah. for a couple of weeks Thank now. Home Alone is on repeat. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. same, as, same as Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Yeah. I love it. So what are your favorite, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Home Alone. Okay. One and two. I would say Love Actually. Love Actually is good. Christmas That's Vacation. a Christmas movie? I didn't even know it. So technically. Yes. Wow, you're going to be mad at me because I've ahead. never even seen... Home Alone. Oh, sir. Jason, you are out the club. I've never seen Home Alone oh. one or I've never seen any of the Home Alones. It's your homework, sir. After it, the show. I, I think it's on, you know, one I know, of the streaming videos. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I feel like I missed the train now. So no. It's too late. No. no. You know no. what I mean? Yeah. No, no, I didn't see uh, the Griswolds until like a couple years ago when Jason insisted I watch it. Oh, yeah, I had never seen it before. Yeah, never seen so you got to get into it. So you guys want to know what my movie is? Yes. Yeah. Family Man with Nicolas Cage. Oh. I haven't seen it. So he 
gets transported into a different dimension of what his life could have been if he was like a good person and not like a greedy Wall Street guy. Is it like Scrooge? It's like yeah, Scrooge. Like Scrooge. Yeah. It is so good though. I check it out. It is so Cage. Good. Yes. It's your plane movie. You guys are gonna be like emailing Nicholas. me like thank you so much for this recommendation because that movie was amazing. It is. It's a really good one. Okay. Final, final question. Do you have your plans finalized for Christmas? If you don't have it done by now, are you too late or are you too soon? You're definitely too late. You're too late. Yeah. The prices never went down on those tickets. Did no. you see that? Yeah. It never did. Yep. So if you're too late, you're too late. Yeah. Mimi, Lauren, and Jason, thank you guys so much for thank hanging you. out. Thank you. Jason is like, too late. Is this even Home a alone. I know, right? Watch, watch it. I know. Head on it. <laughs> All right. So. During What's the Buzz, you know, you heard all the crazy opinions that we all have. <laughs> right. Is it too soon? Is it too late? But today we had on MET, which is all about saving money for kids' futures, mm -hmm. right? So they say it's never too soon. They're right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. Never never too soon. And, and prices of colleges keep going up and up and up if we're talking about college. But mm -hmm. it's not just college. I mean, there's so much in raising children that requires... A good amount of fun. Yes. <laughs> I have so three. Fun. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I love this. So they talk about all the how you can save toward an education, and it's a great gift. It's also a way that we can give gifts to kids the other way. So here's our conversation. Today we are kicking off our days of giving and we will be featuring all kinds of gift ideas. Plus, you'll have a chance to win $500 gift card thanks to these wonderful sponsors. And today we will be announcing our first winner, but you still have time to enter to, for a chance to win in the next few weeks. And we will have more on that in just a moment. And today, our sponsor, Michigan Education Trust, has a gift idea that can last a lifetime we like gifts that last a lifetime. We are joined by the executive director, Diane Brewer. Diane, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you for the invite. It is our pleasure. So, what is the Michigan Education Trust, also known as MET? What's it all about? It's a 529 college savings program, and we're a prepaid tuition program. Oh, okay, all right. So, we have some presents here. So, this is gonna kind of illustrate why this makes such a great gift. Tell us more. Well. For gift giving, it is a gift that will give a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And a parent or grandparent may have entered into a contract or is thinking about it, but other relatives can join in and make contributions. So they've got time and they'll add up and make a great gift. I do, so I have, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about me. I prefer to donate to this as opposed to buying birthday gifts. So I've done that before. I have a friend that I do that with with his daughter every year. Wonderful. Yeah. It makes yeah. more sense. It does. It makes more sense. So how can people enroll? Enrollment opened December 1st. So we're in the 2023 enrollment. Most people go to our website. But if they wanted more information, we do happen to have a webinar tomorrow at noon. So they could still go to the website and enroll and we'll give more details. And learn more, I love it, I love it. Now we have some onesies here. Onesies are for the babies, of course. Can babies be, en be enrolled and is there an age limit? The, um, it actually is suggested, the sooner you can start, the better. It's uh, newborn through adult. That's the availability. So availability. Get, started. Yeah. get started. And the sooner you start, the better, right? You have more time. Yes, you have more time. All right, now, tuition costs always seem to be going up and up. <laughs> so how yes. are they impacted by MET? Well, MET helps you offset those tuition increases because what you're doing is purchasing the credit hours today. So you don't care how much tuition goes up because the trust is making up the difference and paying the difference when the child goes to college. That's such a, such a good thing, especially with the way that college is getting more expensive every single year. This is something that's really awesome. Now, are there any tax advantages? Yes, as a 529 program, what happens and what you know is very interesting this time of year is you get a deduction on your Michigan income tax. Ah. So if you participate over the holidays, it's part of the 22 tax year. There you go, make it happen. All you parents out there, aunties, uncles, everyone who wants to contribute right. to this, this is awesome. This is awesome. Diane, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. So to learn more about Michigan Education Trust and how you can enroll the child in your life before the tax deadline and more, visit the website setwithmet.com. Again, that website is set 
with Met.com. And now it's time to reveal our first winner of a $500 gift card. Thanks to Michigan Education Trust and the sponsors. Can I get a drum roll, please? Congratulations to Linda Hawkins from Detroit. Big congratulations to Linda. We will announce a great new gift idea and a new winner tomorrow. For your chance to win a $500 gift card, enter on the Live in the Deep Facebook page or at clickondetroit.com. Contest rules are posted there as well. All right, Meredith, thank you so much for hanging out with us on Live in the D and here for the green room today. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're so Such a ball. It's always, always a, a ball with you, Tati. <laughs> thank you, Meredith.